As I've been seeking the Lord's face this year for 2015, I've strongly sensed that the Lord wants us to take us to the next level, the next level of deliverance, wholeness, promise, and purpose. Even from your childhood throughout the years, there have been seasons of darkness where the enemy has brought a dark cloud of confusion over your life, where the enemy took the opportunity of your vulnerability to scatter you, to send parts of your soul into captivity, to break your heart and to wound your spirit. The enemy set up little camps in your soul and built fortresses where he has retained control. Even when you were doing good, all the enemy had to do was trigger your brokenness in your inner man where the enemy reigns and everything came unraveling and your life was putty in his hands. You know, sometimes when we go through that, we feel so helpless and we experience failure over and over again, no matter how hard we try. Well, I see the Lord of hosts is rising up to take his place on the throne of your heart and to restore your soul and to heal your painful memories and your wounded spirit. The Lord is going to restore the years the locusts have eaten. It is time for God to, to like pull back his, uh, push back his sleeves and step in to the, to, into the boxing ring. You ask how Lord, how are you going to do that? It seems impossible. I've tried so many times and I failed loved one this year. The Lord of hosts is going to train us and to equip us to face our giants in our lives. It says in Hosea chapter four, ver verse six, my people are destroyed because they lack knowledge because they reject God's knowledge. This year, God is going to give us knowledge. He's going to give us the knowledge to overthrow the devil from from our lives. God is going to rise up, raise up his people. He's going to equip us with wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to overthrow demonic activity from our lives. We're going to walk in victory as we walk in the spirit. We're going to walk in victory as we allow the anointing of the Lord in our lives to break the yoke of bondage in our lives. We no longer have to be struggling and victimized by the enemy horde in our lives. Instead, we, as we invite the Holy Spirit as Lord and Savior into our lives, as we invite the Lord into our brokenness, God is going to come in. He's going to equip us and train us to tear down those strongholds, many of which have been in our soul for decades. The Lord will enable us to tear down the high places and uproot the seeds the enemy has planted in our minds. The Lord will reverse generational curses from our forefathers that have held us captive to the enemy. The Lord will set us free of our addictions and heal our souls of trauma and painful memories. In Zechariah 9, the Lord says, Rejoice greatly, O daughter of Zion. Shout, O daughter, see, your king comes to you, righteous and victorious, lowly and riding on a donkey. Our king is a humble but powerful and victorious king, and he is a righteous king. And this king is Jesus Christ who rode on that donkey. And God goes on to say, because of the blood of my covenant with you, the blood of my son, Jesus Christ, I will free your prisoners from the waterless pit. Return to your fortress, you prisoners of hope. Even now, I announce that I will restore twice as much to you. God is going to give us double for our trouble. We will sparkle in his hand like jewels in a crown. So loved one, the Lord has a plan of hope, redemption, and restoration for us in 2015. All we have to do is ask him and give him access to every part of our lives to surrender and allow the Holy Spirit to come in and to lead us to healing and restoration. But all we have to do is obey. The Lord is going to bring us opportunities to learn, train, and get equipped and grow in the things of God. As he does, rise up and take every opportunity. Give it your all. Don't quit. Be like that soldier who is in training for battle because his life is and the life of his loved ones and the life of his country depends on it. Do not quit during training. Focus on spiritual training with a spirit of excellence. As we do, we will prepare for victorious battle against the enemy. Then we will be given the opportunity at the right time to purposefully encounter the enemy and engage in battle. We must not quit. 
Do not quit during battle. Use all your training to fight, to pursue the enemy as he turns tail and runs. Slaughter him and take no prisoners as he vacates your premises. We don't fight against flesh, flesh and blood, but angels and demons in the heavenly places. What was once your divine birthright and your God-given territory will be returned to you. You will get double for what you lost. You are a beloved child of God with a divine purpose and destiny. As you prepare, God will be faithful to give you the victory. You are and always will be more than a conqueror. But remember, you will never win the battle if you don't engage in battle. You will never win the battle if you don't train and get equipped for battle. In order to win, we must get equipped and trained and move forward into battle so that we can trusting that if we engage in battle, God's going to give us the victory. It is a fight of faith. And as we equip ourselves and move forward against the enemy and we will have victory. We will have victory with God. All things are possible. We will wear the victor's crown in 2015. God bless you.